Hi, it's Mike VI3MW, and I'm going to take you through the upgrade to a Maestro version B. Uh, one thing I want to add here is what is a Maestro B? So uh, this update is all about the Maestro B. Uh, power switch is right there on the side, and that's what makes a Maestro B. And this is going to do a major update to the software on your Maestro, which is a Windows tablet. So we're looking here at my Maestro B and we see my 6600M. I've already updated my 6600M using Smart SDR from a PC. So I'm going to connect to the radio. And in my case, we're going to see all these different versions. So uh, a blue arrow, if you've never looked at this before, means that the firmware or the software needs to be downloaded into the Maestro. Uh, and that can take some time. And the green arrow means that the radio needs to be updated. So we're going to go to look for version 3.2.38. Uh, it happens to be the one we're using when I record this. So look here, we'll see, we, we see a, a 3.238. That's the version we want to be at or higher. We want that dot three eight to be higher or the dot two to be higher or, you know, dot, I guess version four, if we ever get there. And this is the large, uh, .NET update on a Maestro B. This can take a few hours. Uh, we're not going to, well, I'll, I'll record a few hours, but I will just show the highlights. So it'll work through its thing. I'll try to grab every screenshot that pops up and maybe comment on it. If it's different, if it requires some manual intervention, here we are again at version 3.238. Let me bring my mouse over my screen. This is the one we want. You'll notice it's just a blue, uh download that requires uh download if you happen to have a green arrow it also means the radio needs update it may be two steps my radio i already updated using smart sdr on a pc uh if you need to do that so we will tap that and select update and away we go this could take a uh a while there are apparently multiple reboots and a lot of software please make sure that you have your uh, Maestro wired uh, with power uh, and uh, on an Ethernet cable, a proper cable, if you can. Wi-Fi will work, but we ask that you be uh, cabled. Uh, if you have to, just take it over near your router or whatever, and if you can connect a LAN cable into a switch there, even better. Uh, I'll uh, lose my connection a few times on this update. So I said, I'll try to catch every screen, but uh, just keep going like you were updating uh, software and uh, you will see these, uh, these messages flow on by. So uh, thanks for your patience. And by the way, if you get stuck anywhere, don't try to fix it yourself. Please just open a support ticket. We're watching for these. We'll jump all over for you and get things going as required. And uh, so here we go. In my case here, I need to reconnect to the radio. So we're just going to go connect and 328 and run. We're on pass two of three. So here we go into uh, the th reboot three. I'm going to select the radio again. Uh, hit connect. Again, we're going to look for three dot two dot thirty eight and run. And away we go. One more time. All right. So we're almost done. Uh, this is sped up about ten thousand percent, but. Uh, We've now rebooted, we've back to the Maestro reboot screen, and we're gonna go back in and select our radio. Uh, I'm going to hit the uh, connect button, and that will connect the Maestro to the radio. We're gonna run down, we need to always, uh, at least at this point in time, pick the version number, 3.2.38. We're loading, and there we go. We are on the air, and our Maestro is now available and use uh, can be used with SmartLink. Now's a good time to log in and check. Thanks for listening, and I hope that helps you out, 73.